Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for subscribing. I just want to get to it. you got things to do, and we want to cover the weather together. So a couple spots I'm watching, and we've been talking about this for now about a week and a half, two weeks. The National Hurricane Center now latching onto this. This spot here, which could flare up coming out of Florida. I want to get into that in near the Bahamas with some heavy rain. And then this spot over here, western Gulf of Mexico and the Bay of Campeche, things are going to flare up. And then you look through the Caribbean, there are some bigger tropical waves are, are going to head our way over the next week to week and a half that are not quite typical for this time of year. So I want to look at that. They'll be approaching us in the Eastern Caribbean. This here, there's a little spin here now near Florida. This is a tropical disturbance. Uh, I do believe it could spin up though. There's very warm water right through here. You have the Gulf Stream. So as this spin moves off near the Northern Bahamas, it may flare up into a tropical storm, whether it does or doesn't. For for many of us, that would be so called out to sea. But we know with our islands and different areas, uh, out to sea is a, a relative term that I don't typically like to use because what's over there is Bermuda. So if this flares up, I'm going to be watching it in Bermuda. I don't care if it's a big island or a small island, a big location or a little location. Uh, every location matters when it comes to tracking these things. And that's why I do this channel for safety. So I'll be watching that. Now here's the Eastern Caribbean right through here. Here's Trinidad, Barbados, St. Lucia, Puerto Rico, Dominica. Look at this. Here's the coast of Africa, a big flare up here. Now I'm not seeing that this is going to to develop in the short term. Water temperature is kind of uh, coolish out here, uh, which is typical for this time of year. But to see such a big blob like this is, is not normal for this time of year. So as this marches across, it should lose some steam, but we'll see what happens to it once it heads into the Caribbean. It is at least going to bring us a better chance of rain. That one's down the road. Also watching this rain uh, near Guyana and Suriname that we'll be watching. So now the National Hurricane Center latching on to some of the spots we've been uh, talking about, the Bay of Campaign and this over here, there's Bermuda. So if something does flare up, that could head into the general direction of Bermuda. I'll show you that wide picture in a second. In the short term, we have not seen development out of this. This is uh, the wind shear. It's what's going on up above our heads. Uh, some winds in the opposite direction of the storms building up. So it would knock off some of the thunderstorm tops. Now, the storm itself is headed in this direction or this system is headed in this direction, but the winds above it aren't very settled. So the storms just can't build up and that's why we have that, uh, that's the wind shear, and that's why it has yet to develop. So there is a lot of wind shear, but there may be a pocket in which it could develop into a tropical storm. So that's what I'll be watching over the next couple of days. Now, let me show you this setup here. This is the European model, and this is how it plays out. So we have this spin here moving toward the Northern Bahamas, and that's going to move off of the coast of Florida and start to push away from the Bahamas. Bermuda, as I mentioned, I'm watching you. Here we have an area of high pressure. Winds around this area of high pressure are clockwise. That's also why we're drier in the northeastern Caribbean, a lot of sinking air, and it's, it's on the hot side. With that clockwise flow, that really draws up some moisture. So it's kind of this moisture feed on the back side of this area of high pressure. And that's going to be important because that's going to bring a lot of moisture to either the western Caribbean or the western Gulf of Mexico as we go over the next several days. Now this here is uh, going out in time. This is by tomorrow. The European model is saying, hey, this may be spinning up into a tropical storm storm. Regardless, that would be off the coast of the southeast United States. And then I'd watch Bermuda. But you see, here's that area of high pressure. There's still lots of moisture just kind of building in this direction. With such warm water, if the wind shear relaxes and there's moisture around, there's a chance something could spin up. So let's go out in time further. This is going through the weekend, and this is by Sunday. Now, once we get into Sunday, you see here, there it is, western uh, portions of the Gulf of Mexico, a buildup of some rain, even into the uh, western Caribbean. And then I'll be watching these other tropical waves. I'm not going to lose sight of that. But this here is uh, the area that I do believe something could develop. Now, here's the deal. You get over toward the Bay of Campeche right in here. Here's the European model. Let me stop it here. This is by the time we get into late Tuesday into early Wednesday of next week. The European model right now, this is a week from now. So this is going to 
change. The weather is hard to forecast three days out, yet alone a week from now, but it is showing a, a tropical storm trying to develop in the Bay of Campeche. Now, uh, the conditions are conducive for that. So if I were just to see everything as I do now, yeah, tropical storm looks like it will form in this area. With that said, it's kind of a tight pocket in here. You've got land, the Yucatan of Mexico and then Mexico proper over here. So land interaction will also be key. Will the center of circulation have time over the warm water to spin up before moving in? Now, I'd love to pass along good news. Uh, uh, weather, of course, is not all rainbows. A lot of times we have to talk about bad news. Uh, but with that said, uh, this could be good news in the long term because we have been so dry in Texas, you know, parts of Texas and into Mexico. So if there could be a weaker system, that may be okay. Of course, we'd watch out for mudslides. But again, we could see some rain if this develops, really pushing into parts of Mexico where it has been incredibly dry, to say the least. And of course, if it lifts a little bit more to the north, we'd be watching over toward uh, Texas. So here's the American model showing similar things. Uh, so uh, not really big differences, which is good, which means things are on track. So let me show you now how this compares. Now, watching out, I'll, I'll zoom down closer to some other spots, watching scattered storms. But here's that weaker disturbance passing by Florida and the northern Bahamas. Of course, that means heavy rain in spots, South Florida, Northern Bahamas, uh, some flooding. As this moves offshore tomorrow, uh, it could develop. Here's Bermuda. So at the least, we'll see a better chance of rain trying to work toward Bermuda either late Friday into Saturday, maybe come a tropical storm, maybe not, but we'd see some of that rain moving in. Now, here's what's going on. Just like the European model, you see the extra rain here. I mentioned that area of high pressure right here, helping to draw in this moisture. And then this here, ticking ahead on that time frame, this is by Sunday. On Sunday, it's not showing anything spinning up yet, but you can see some of the extra rain that we're going to have around anywhere from Jamaica off toward Belize, and then especially to the north, and this is where we could see something starting to uh, develop and spin, and the indications are it would be the extreme western Gulf of Mexico or the Bay of Campeche, and then watching those other blobs of rain that are getting closer to uh, Trinidad and Tobago as we work our way forward. So this here is again about a week from now, six days from now, trying to show a little Little bit of a spin here just like the European model so we could see some development here higher chance of rain up toward parts of the uh, Gulf states and the United States and then watching out for these blobs out here that could bring additional rain to the Eastern Caribbean it is getting very busy clearly there's lots to cover so I like to go step by step nice and slowly to try to keep everyone covered uh, best I can because we know it doesn't need to be a named system to cause problems uh, just the rain itself mudslides flooding that sort of thing so that's what I'm watching now here's the short term there's some really heavy rain just north of Guyana and Suriname, though Guyana, I was just checking in, uh, going back and forth with you in the comments. Uh, we do have some rain around, watching out for some flooding and just off the coast of uh, Columbia, ABC Islands, one of our, our very dry spots, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Jamaica, kind of hit or miss. We've had some isolated storms. That'll be uh, what we'll be seeing as we go throughout the day today. Here's the rain up toward, especially the northern and somewhat the central Bahamas. It's a flip from what we had last week. Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos on the dry side. Puerto Rico, not much in the way of rain. St. Kitts and Nevis, we need the rain, but there's not going to be a whole lot. Scattered showers, Belize down through Nicaragua, a little bit more on the Pacific side, Guatemala and El Salvador. And then you get toward Cuba, Western Cuba and still Eastern Cuba, still some areas of heavier rain. So parts of South Florida and parts of Cuba dealing with the rain here, stretching back toward the Bahamas. There's some of the rain in Guyana and Suriname tomorrow, and that'll keep us unsettled. Not quite sure yet for us in Trinidad how much this is going to create in, but we're going to see at least that chance of scattered showers staying with us in Trinidad and Tobago back toward Grenada. And then as we work our way into our Friday afternoon, see the flare up of moisture. This is that flow I was talking about, increased rain in Central America and then feeding up into the Gulf. And that is a recipe for something down the road to develop. The first name on the list this season in the Atlantic Basin is Alberto. So if something gets a name, be it the system moving out of Florida or system developing in the Gulf or Bay of Campeche, the first name on the list would be Tropical Storm uh, Alberto. Now, still some pockets of heavier rain. Watching that as we get back toward the northern Bahamas, uh, it could see uh, additional several inches of rain back toward Florida, uh, upwards of 100 millimeters of rain in some spots. But we swing back toward parts of uh, eastern Cuba, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Jamaica. Yes, we could get a few showers and storms. Cayman Islands as well were much drier than a few days ago, but still some isolated showers could pick up a quick 25 millimeters 
millimeters or an inch of rain. And we'll see that as well. Uh, the possibility of that Anguilla down through uh, Montserrat, Antigua, and Barbuda, St. Martin, St. Croix, uh, St. Thomas, a passing shower possible. Limited chance of rain. It's going to be a little higher toward Trinidad and Tobago and then south through Guyana and Suriname. So St. Lucia, Barbados, uh, Grenada, passing shower chance. This is where it's higher, especially northern sections of uh, Guyana and then into Suriname with some higher totals of 150 millimeters of rain plus over the next few days. Now, Mexico, I mentioned Mexico, even Texas, Mexico, so, so dry, not as much anymore. The Yucatan, we're going to see more of that moisture building from Belize, Honduras, uh, back toward the Yucatan and Mexico. But if something develops here, this is where we desperately need to get some of the rain. But of course, at home, you know, in the tropics, sometimes you go from nothing to way too much so quickly. And I I hope that's uh, not the uh, case, but a huge stream, the Atlantic region of Canada. Look up here for us all the way down, just this big moisture plume. And there's some of the rain sitting off into the uh, uh, approaching the uh, Caribbean. And then you see here in Mexico on the drier side, extreme eastern Mexico back through Guatemala, we are seeing some of the storms. Now on the eastern Pacific side, there could be some development here as well. Sometimes it's hard to tell. The models have a hard time telling. There's uh, not a big difference between what happens in the Bay of Campeche and on the eastern Pacific. So usually you don't have something developing in both spots. So uh, we'll see if something either flares up in the Bay of Campeche or sometimes it kind of flips and it's over on the Pacific side. So that's still an area we'll be watching. It's either way, uh, we've got several areas to watch. So here's the big picture. My friends in Bermuda, we'll see if this does spin up uh, either way. We could see that chance of rain uh, moving in. I'm still not certain on how that, that evolves, but you see this moisture plume. This is as we work our way into our Thursday afternoon. Then we go from Thursday into Friday. Not as much across uh, the continental U.S. We'll see some uh, bigger storms up uh, toward uh, the northern sections. But you see here, this is by the time we have Friday, that's when we start to see some of that rain that will start to be uh, feeding in to the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Here's the top end of all of that. Here's Newfoundland with another chance of some rain around. It has been so unsettled. Flipping over into tomorrow, we may catch a break in spots over toward uh, New Brunswick. But later in the day, looking just back to the west, you get over toward Quebec, we could see more scattered showers trying to push in as we head into our Friday uh, forecast over toward uh, Prince Edward Island. So, Jamaica, let me know what you're getting or not getting. Isolated showers and storms around and more isolated back toward the Cayman Islands, unlike we had a few days ago. Now, Trinidad and Tobago, rain chance starts to creep up. It's going to be a close call on how much of these showers down to the south start to move in. But we're in the wet season now, so I'll be watching out for some scattered showers. Barbados and St. Lucia, about a 10 to 20 percent chance of an isolated shower. Rain chance is not too high, and it's not too high in Grenada anymore. Uh, we need, we still need to get more rain. Grenada, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, rain chance about 20%. 10 to 20% chance in Martinique, and the rain chance could pick up some in a couple days as we get toward Dominica. Rain chance holding at an even 20% in Guadeloupe. Rain chance about 10% today in Tiga and Barbuda. Slightly better chance on Friday, not a lot, uh, but a small chance in St. Kitts, Nevis, Montserrat, we were talking about us earlier. Rain chance stays low. Anguilla, and St. Bart's, uh, not a high chance. Passing shower, St. Martin, Saba, Stacia. Passing shower the next couple days in Puerto Rico. Isolated storm, uh, but by the time we have Friday, we could have a few more around, about a 40% chance on Friday. Very uh, isolated passing shower chance. U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Bahamas, it is split though. Northern Bahamas with that higher chance of rain. We're talking over toward Freeport, uh, New Providence. Uh, let me know what you're getting or not getting. Turks and Caicos, uh, mainly dry. And the rain chance in the Dominican Republic and Haiti low. It would be a very isolated rogue storm. That would be all. It's going to be on the hot side. Rain chance starting to pick up in Belize again. Uh, isolated today, but starting to become more widespread as we get into later this week for us in Belize. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire could see a passing shower. I've had a few of the last few days in some spots, but not many. And watching out for the flooding in Guyana, those higher totals I was highlighting, the higher totals in uh, Suriname with that flood potential. Cuba, it's our western and central sections where we'll see a higher chance of rain. Uh, Panama scattered showers, a little more widespread as we work our way into Costa Rica. We've been dealing with some flooding Costa Rica, especially some areas of heavier rain. Let me know your location and what you're getting. Nicaragua, rain chance is going to start to bump up. And looking at about a 50 to 60 percent chance of scattered showers and storms in Honduras, picking up some as we get into later this week. Guatemala over toward El Salvador. Uh, Mexico City, uh, rain chance is not high, a very limited chance. But we'll see what happens with that tropical system that 
that will try to form. Yucatan rain chance becoming more scattered. 20 to 30 percent chance as we get into Colombia. Most of the moisture just missing us. Northern Venezuela, 20 to 30 percent chance. Bermuda, 60 percent chance today. I do have a question mark for late Friday into Saturday. We'll see what's kind of coming out of the uh, Bahamas and see if that system does spin up. And if that does spin up, that would be heading toward us again late Friday into Saturday for Bermuda. So watching some of the rain and storms as well, uh, building over towards Central America, that moisture plume just kind of building in. And it's looking more and more likely that Gulf of Mexico or rather Bay of Campeche development would be likely. We should get some signs of that this weekend. And then there could be a tropical storm in the Bay of Campeche by the time we get into early next week. June on average is uh, on average, June I should say, averages one named storm. And there could be a couple. We'll see what happens with both of these areas. And we have a lot of months to go. So things are picking up. So keep me posting in the comments what you got going on. Thank you for spreading the word about this channel and uh, just uh, letting your friends and family know about it. I do appreciate that. And I hope you have a good rest of your day.